Kill them. Kill them with fire. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 psychotic clowns in video games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most deranged and insane video game clowns to haunt our dreams. We're only including video game specific clowns here, and while the Joker has appeared in many Batman games, we're excluding him because he originates from comics. I'm Todd Habercorn, and having been told that I was the class clown angrily many times by my teachers in school, I feel like I have a certain perspective for this list. Todd, hit that call out. Let's get ready to mojo! That stupid bitch. She actually hurt me. Number 10, Kinky Pinky? Narc. We're on our way. Yes, that really is his name, and his character is wrong on so many levels. One of the key members of the crack organization, Kinky Pinky is in charge of maintaining their pornography distribution. Never thought you'd hear that sentence, did you? What's even more terrifying is that he abducts women, which implies the porn he's selling may be of his own victim. Yeah. <laughs> on the surface, he's just some weirdo with a knife and clown makeup, but dig a little deeper and things take on a much more disturbing angle. Welcome to the 80s, kids. <laughs> Number nine, Bonker, Clay Fighter series. <laughs> Many of the characters in this series are bizarre enough as it is, but as a clown, Bonker brings an unhealthy dose of insanity to the mix. This is a guy who acts crazy and annoys people just for kicks, and it shows when he's fighting the likes of Bad Mr. Frosty and Sumo Santa. While his later appearances saw him portrayed as a fairly typical cartoon clown, his first design was actually quite scary. As if someone had decided to put Pennywise's cousin in a fighting game. Just look at that creepy smile and devilish hairdo. Reminds me of my high school prom pics. We wouldn't be surprised if Bonker's terrifying appearance contributed to the demise of this franchise. We're certainly sleeping with the lights on. Number 8, Arkham the Jester. Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening. There's no need to use violence, devil boy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Better listen to what I have to say, lad. Well, hello, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Creepy. We've met plenty of ambitious freakazoids across our gaming careers, but Arkham is so power crazy, it's downright scary. I never dreamed that things would go so smoothly. Well done, everyone! Wishing to become ruler of the demon world, Arkham has sacrificed almost everything in his life to achieve his dream, including murdering his own lover. Mr. Arkham, sir, we're sure harnessing the power of hell sounds great and all, but look at what it cost you. Have you thought about the monthly maintenance fees? You not only killed the woman you loved, but you got a bunch of facial scars as a constant reminder. Even your own daughter turned on you. Get thee to Mori Povich. In the end, was all of this really worth it? Thank you, Dante and Virgil, for giving this guy a much-needed curtain call. Zowie, that was close. But you've taken quite a trouncing today, haven't you, Virgil? Number seven, the clown. Surprise. Dead by Daylight. Like every other killer in this horror fest of a game, this dude's got one hell of a backstory. Kenneth Jeffrey Hawk Chase had a troubled youth. His mother died during childbirth and his resentful father became an alcoholic. Soon enough, young Kenneth was drugging, trapping, and killing small animals, you asshole, building up to his first human victim. After leaving home and joining the circus, he landed himself a new disguise that enabled him to indulge his dark desires like never before. As the clown, he dispenses slaughter instead of laughs, saving the finger of his victims as a souvenir. The clown is terrifying to behold, but surprisingly quick for his size, sure to rob you of a few nights sleep. Just don't steal my sleep on Sundays. Mondays are tough. You leave no scratch marks for a limited time. Dance With Me has a cooldown. Number six, Clown Infected, Left for Dead 2. Stay on the track, people. Clowns and zombies, one of the worst combinations imaginable, right next to kale and 
artichoke hearts. As if the infected weren't scary enough, the Dark Carnival campaign had to go and add these painted corpses to the mix. While they don't do much in combat, their uniquely heinous appearance tends to make gamers freeze up like deer in headlights. On the plus side, shoving them will cause their noses to honk, which is good for a chuckle and snapping you back to your senses. Wait, they can appear in waves? Nope, oh, nope, goodbye. Bye-bye, Left 4 Dead 2. Nice playing with you. Number five, Shaco the Demon Jester, League of Legends. Admit it, no matter how much of an LOL champ you might claim to be, when you see Shaco pop up behind you, your cursor hovers over the disconnect button. Don't deny it. This dude is all about big knives and bigger surprises. Able to spawn decoys of himself, blink across the battlefield, and even deploy a deadly jack-in-the-box, Shaco's backstabs have spelled doom for many a player. It wouldn't be so bad if his choice in wardrobe didn't look like it came from Hell's Thrift Shop. Can I still get that 30% discount? Number four, Beppy the mother effin' clown, Cuphead. Leave it to this modern gem to take colorful concepts like cakes, birds, and trains and turn them into the products of our deepest nightmares. In this regard, Beppy is no exception. Armed with a psychotic smile that even makes his 1930s cartoon style seem off-putting, Beppy will constantly attempt to run players over with bumper cars and roller coasters aplenty. Of course, the real horror begins when he busts out the shape-shifting. Whether he takes the form of a creepy balloon or carousel, Beppy's particular brand of funny will swear you off carnivals for life. Enjoy. Number three, Adam McIntyre, Dead Rising. Everyone used to laugh at me. <laughs> I was a walking punchline. At first glance, Adam seems like your average dude, dressed up in off-putting makeup. Creepy, but not the biggest threat in the mall when compared to the never-ending hordes of zombies, at least until you notice that he's wielding dual chainsaws. And just like that, Adam managed to become one of the most insidious beings the franchise has ever produced. He can't even watch his death scene without cringing, since he decided that the best way to leave this mortal coil would be to belly flop onto his chainsaws while laughing maniacally. <laughs> Number two, Needles Cane, Twisted Metal. My ice cream cone, that was a mistake. Who's got two clown thumbs and has perfected the art of murder? This guy. Once a simple ice cream man, Kane eventually gave in to his terrible urges and snapped, setting off on what proved to be quite a successful killing career as the masked monster's sweet tooth. It doesn't matter if he's using his signature machete or unleashing his ice cream truck mecha. All this guy cares about is racking up the biggest kill count possible. The dude is so cuckoo that he even challenged the likes of Kratos. Before we reveal our top pick, here's an honorable mention. What do you think, Sid? Let's see another one, Nikki. No, heck, why not? Number one, Kefka Palazzo. Final Fantasy series. Doom and death. No, I didn't. Let's not stay in the battlefield! A sadist jester with a messiah complex and enough hate in his heart to bring about the end of the world. That's Kefka for you. Arguably one of the most iconic villains to ever emerge from this mega franchise, Kefka's lust for power and crippling insanity wasn't only frightening, but also potent enough to help him realize his goal when he managed to become the de facto god of magic. If causing untold devastation via the apocalypse doesn't justify somebody's fear of clowns, we don't know what will. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.